when I found out the plane went down, all I can think about is the lives that must be lost. The next thing I thought about is how we, the Red Cross, were responding, what I can do to help. So as I tell the story over the years about that day, one of the most memorable aspects of it was when I arrived. I remember arriving, getting out of the vehicle, and having that moment where I looked over and what I saw was that famous scene of the plane in the water with the passengers on the wing. And I'm going, what a miracle. To my relief, what I had prepped for mentally on the drive over wasn't what I encountered. There was no trauma, there were no casualties. I was quickly able to switch gears into the services that were necessary. It was a very cold day, as everyone will recall. There was snow on the ground. They just came from the freezing water. So it was the blankets, the socks. It was the ability to really provide them with the warmth that they needed. The greatest and most pressing need by each of those passengers that day was cell phones. It's something that you don't anticipate. Everyone wanted to call their loved ones and let them know I'm okay. So I recall all the Red Crosses, all of us with cell phones, handing them over, all the responders there that morning, that afternoon, and just giving them the phone so that they can reach their loved ones. It was a real honor to have the Red Cross selected and asked to participate in this movie so that we can be portrayed with the services and the um, response that we had that day. You know, what was great about the movie uh, crew is that they, as I mentioned, wanted every detail to be as precise as possible. That's why we were brought in. That's why myself and the team that were there that day and responded were selected. We were next to some of the responders in our counter agencies who also responded that day. What I hope people take away from this movie is that what you see highlighted in this movie by the Red Cross happens every day. It's happening right now. And it's not all the aviation incidents, it's not all the high profile, large responses. That's a single family home with just the individual or the one family that's receiving the same services and the same comfort that all those individuals did that day.